How does Electric Limited tape your wiring harness? Here you can see a part of a wiring harness that was just assembled. This harness is fully circuit tested and is ready for the final process, taping. As you can see, all of the wires are exposed and need to be taped per the original blueprint specifications. This is what the final product will look like. The taping process will add the proper non-adhesive tape to the harness so that the individual wires within the harness are protected and to make routing the harness easier. First I'll explain the type of tape we use to wrap wiring harnesses. The tape we use is not common electrical tape as you can see here. Common electrical tape is made of a vinyl material and has an adhesive on one side. If we use this tape to wrap a wiring harness, in time the adhesive will ooze out of the tape, especially in a hot engine compartment, and will attract dirt and oil and cause the harness to prematurely deteriorate. Instead, we use the proper non-adhesive vinyl tape as shown here, and is specified for use by the manufacturer's blueprint. This tape will cling to itself without the use of adhesive, and once properly applied and tied off, it will not unravel. This is one of our taping machines. This machine is about 60 years old and is the exact same machine used by wiring harness manufacturers from the 1950s through the 70s. When convoluted tubing began to replace harness taping and the need for these machines diminished, taping machines were no longer manufactured. This is a close-up of the tape head. The wiring harness will run through this opening and the harness tape, as you can see on the spool, will rotate over the harness and apply the tape. While the harness is being taped, it will be pulled by this conveyor belt. This belt and the tape head are geared together in sync so that the faster the head rotates, the faster the conveyor advances, again to ensure a smooth and uniform tape overlap. These harnesses, which happen to be Corvette forward lamp harnesses, are fully assembled and circuit tested and are waiting for the final process of taping. The small areas of tape you do see is adhesive back electrical tape used only to keep the breakouts intact, to affix harness clips to the harness, and to keep the harness from becoming a tangled mess while it makes its way to the taping machine. Before running the machine, the operator checks the specifications to ensure that the proper tape width is applied according to the original blueprint. Common tape widths were 3 quarter inch, 1 inch, and 1 and a quarter inch. The wing nut not only holds the tape roll in place, but is adjusted to the correct drag so that the tape is not too loose, which can cause the tape to slide on the harness, or too stretched, which can cause the tape to tear during installation. The taping process is typically started at the main connector of a harness and is affixed with a couple of overlaps. With some final adjustments of the drag, the harness is ready to be taped at full speed. Once the operator reaches a wire breakout location, the machine is stopped. The breakout is pulled through and the taping process resumes. When the operator reaches a harness mounting clip, he slows the machine so that he doesn't tape over the point of the clip. Once the harness is fully taped, you will see the tape is cut and tied off to keep it from unraveling. This process is exactly how it was originally done, leaving a small tail. This was done for speed and the elimination of having to use adhesive tape. This is the taping process from a different angle. As you can see, the wires that are not destined to be taped, as well as previously taped breakouts, are pulled through. Previously taped sections were hand taped on the assembly board as they are too short to be effectively taped by machine.
while the harness is being pulled through, you will see the operator's hand ride along the conveyor belt. This is to ensure tape uniformity. Similar to a sewing machine, the farther the operator presses the foot pedal, the faster the taping process. This gives the operator optimal control of the machine. And this is the taping process from yet another angle. This is a close-up of the uniform tape and consistent overlap, resulting in an original-looking and professionally-made wiring harness.